So first you will need your half length round. But what I do is, after sewing the upper part of my blouse, I now take my tape and measure all the way around as you can see here. So that is what I'm going to be using. I'm going to divide that by 4. So the half length round that I got from that measurement, I'll divide it by 4. And then divide the answer again by 6.28. Whatever I get there, that is what I'm going to use as my reduce. So here I'm folding my fabric. Another calculation we need to do is the length of the peplum. So from your full blouse length, you're going to remove your half length. Whatever is left is the length of your peplum. So the length of the peplum, now I'm going to be adding another one inch to it for joining. And then add whatever it is I have to what I got when I divided my radius. What I got for my radius. That is what I'm using here to fold in four places. So, because we divided our waist into four, we need four different sec. Okay, so this flay is called 1440 degrees. So that's like 360 degrees in four places. So we will be using four. We, we will be needing four peplums. <laughs> so. We've gotten two there, and here's another two I'm folding. So I try as much as I can not to waste fabric. So here is the piece into two, which gave me the length of my peplum plus my radius. And then into four again this way, still the length of the peplum plus the radius. So first I'm marking the radius. Let's say after dividing my waist into 4 and then dividing the answer by 6.28, I got 1.5. That is my radius. So let's assume I'm marking 1.5 here. And then the length of my peplum, after I subtracted it from, I subtracted my half length from my full blouse length, whatever I have length. Let's say my blouse is um, 25 and then my half length is 15. We have about 10 left, so I add 1 to that, making it 11, which will be the length of the peplum. So 11 plus 1.5, that will be 12.5. So here we have it. This is the radius I'm marking up here. And we're going to do this four times. I just hope you understand what I'm saying. So that was one I just caught. This is the second one. We're going to do this again. A third time and then a fourth time after that we'll be back to show you what needs to do in order for our peplum to come out standing and wavy Next up, I went ahead to cut a lining piece for each of the flares and then this is medium weight gum stay. So, not soft, not hard. Medium weight 
gum still. Trust me, this does the job perfectly. So I did that and then I went ahead to open one side of each of the flare pieces. So this is it. So next I'll be ironing the gum stay on the wrong side of the main fabric. So you look at the shiny part and place it on the wrong side and iron. So here is it, all ironed. You can see it's looking hard already. So I'm going to be joining them together now, right sides together, all the four into one. I'll do the same thing for the lining. So this is it, all joined together and nicely ironed. You can see it's already looking wavy and bouncy. So I'll be turning it with the lining now. Place the lining on the good side of the Ankara piece and sew it like that all the way around. So this is it all sewn, so I'll be notching just tiny cuts all around the flare, after which I'll turn it out and then iron it nicely. So this is it all ironed, you can see how clean it's looking. So I'll join it to the upper piece of the blouse now, all the way around. And here you have it, all joined. Look at how it's standing. Oh God. So I also went ahead to finish it with the bias strip, make it all nice and clean. Here you have it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, people. Help my ministry. Bye.